But now it's time for some laughs with some improv. One of the most popular shows here on the CW62 is Whose Line Is It Anyways? Airing tonight at 8 p.m. We decided to bring in some local improv artists to check out their ability to improv. Please welcome Al Alchemy Comedy, Harrison Brookie, and Meg Pearson. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having so us. So good to see you. Hey, it's fun to be here. Thanks. Awesome. So, of course, Whose Line Is It Anyway? is a big show here on the CW62. I think after a long day, people just like to have a good laugh, which yeah. is what you guys are all about at Alchemy. Um, improv is a skill that is, um, you know, you may not even think that you need it, but it is a valuable skill to have, I would say. Totally, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, we teach classes, and one of the things that we do is we not only teach you how to perform, but also just practical skills of public speaking and human interaction, listening, and focus and teamwork and things like that. And yeah. You, you do classes on this too, so if you're looking to do better at your improv skills, there's a place for that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you would be amazed at the the various groups of, of people that come and, and take the classes. We have anything from teachers, lawyers. If you deal with the public, if you just deal with people on the phones, it's amazing how much improv can help you in the real world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, what, at what place in your life do you not need to do a little bit of improvisation? I know we do it every day here on, on, on the show because there's always something that goes just a little bit awry. Right, right. And you, right. Have to, you have to go from there. So we wanted to make this a, a pretty interactive segment. So we asked our viewers on Facebook uh, to give us a phrase or a grouping of phrases that I could uh, use to, to sort of, you know, basis of what we're going to be doing here. Perfect. So the phrase that the viewer gave me was, um, things mama says. Okay. So okay, great. things <laughs> that my mom always says is, first, first of all, she says, you're co we're always cooking with grease. And that's her phrase for when um, you're, you're doing something very aggressively, that we're on the right track. We're cooking with grease. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, mom, I'm trying to think of other things my mom always says. Um, she always has something uh, witty to say from the South. Uh, I'm trying to think of, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to see. I could Kiss my grits is like a, yeah, a, kiss sassy, my grits. a sassy Southern sassy. phrase. It's yeah. a good one. Always has those sassy Southern phrases. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's always types of funny things that my, my, my mom always says. So um, do you think you have enough with kiss, That's perfect. kiss I think my we're grits? That's perfect. And um, yeah, so we're going to go with that. So do, how do I do this? Do I say? Scene uh, you can up. say action, and then when you're done with this, well, you can say scene. Okay. That works perfect. Action, and I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Mom. <gasps> yes, I've, honey, there's mm. been an incident. I know, I saw spinach everywhere. It's tons of spinach. There was a spinach explosion. I got excited after my, my trip to Publix. I'm sorry. Well, we got a lot of guests coming over. And I, I, I want it to go really well. It's, the, it's school starting. That's right, school's starting. What better way to start school than with a boatload of spinach on the floor? Kids love spinach. Kids love spinach. It's a fact. It's true. Okay. I want all of your friends to come over, tell them don't eat anything. Don't tell them that we're not ordering pizza or candy or anything. They'll be surprised and delighted when they see the spinach on the floor. But Mom, kids don't love floor spinach. Honey, kids love anything on the floor. Do you remember one time when you were a toddler? We just threw your birthday cake on the floor and you ate it and you were happy. Yeah, and the kids all laughed. All oh, the kids laughed. That must have been a good thing, right? <laughs> exactly. Do you remember the time that we just had Thanksgiving on the floor just for the fun of it? Oh yeah, Uncle Jack just knocked the turkey on the floor. He did, it. and we celebrated. Oh, he and was... Grandma ate the giblets from behind the couch. Oh, Uncle Jack laughed. That must have been a good thing, right? It was a great thing. Uncle Jack always oh. laughs. Remember the time you came in and knocked the spinach everywhere? That was just 15 minutes ago. But I remember it. And you're laughing. <laughs> oh. 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 I'll get the ranch dressing. And scene. <laughs> scene. Bravo. <laughs> Harrison, Meg, thank you guys so much. Thanks for having us. Definitely go check them out at Alchemy Comedy. You can visit them at GreenvilleComedy.com. They have mm -hmm. improv things coming up this weekend, and um, you can sign up there. And uh, maybe you'll come back, and I'll be better about the whole improv thing of coming up with the story next time. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. It's totally fine. Joe Argus, thanks so much. Thank you guys very much. We'll see thank you, you soon. And don't forget, Whose Line Is It Anyway airs tonight at 8 p.m. on the CW62.